A model photo copyright release is a form commonly used by photographers when taking pictures of models in a photo shoot. Using this form is an essential part of professional photography sessions. In this video, we'll discuss why release forms are needed, what they can do, and what good ones should look like. First, why do I need a model photo release form? There are at least two people with rights at stake in a photograph, the person who took the photo and the person depicted. The person who took the photo is like the writer of a book or a singer in a song. It's their creative work, but photographs are different from other creative works because they capture real people who may be easily recognized. And people have rights when it comes to their appearance in photographs, what is known as their likeness. Now, if a photographer is in a public place, he or she is generally able to take photos of others in public without needing any kind of release, so long as the photos are for artistic or journalistic purposes. But in the case of professional models and photographers working together, they rely on contracts just like any other business. A photo copyright release form is a particular type of contract in which the model agrees to allow the photographer to make future use of the photo without having to secure the model's permission every single time. What should the release form include? There is a certain information that all model photo release forms should have. This includes biographical details about the photographer and the model, including their names and contact information identification of the time and date of the photo shoot covered by the agreement, the signature of the model's parent or legal guardian, if not yet 18, and payment information. In some cases, a famous model could charge a photographer for a shoot that might boost the photographer's career. In others, the photographer could demand payment for providing the photos. Then there's the future use portion of the agreement, which can vary significantly from shoot to shoot. In a typical agreement, the model has the right to use the photographs produced in the session for particular purposes, such as submitting to agencies or trying out for film projects, while the photographer has the right to future commercial uses. In this situation, if, for example, a company found a photo that the model had used to audition for a TV show and wanted to use it in a commercial, they would have to pay the photographer a licensing fee. In the case of a shoot that is commissioned by a company, it's also possible for future use rights to belong to neither the photographer nor the model, but the company. There are all sorts of different arrangements the photographer and the model could come to, and the parties should try to be as clear as possible from the start about what they want. This area of law known as intellectual property can get quickly complicated, and there are default rules that may end up deciding things if the parties aren't careful in creating an agreement. So it may be best to consult with an attorney if there are particular concerns. We're eForms the world's biggest database of legal documents. Click or tap the link right here for easy model photo release agreements and don't forget to subscribe for more videos that will help you stay organized.